Hey guys, so today's video is going to be the four or more tag, I guess it is. I haven't actually been tagged, but I've seen a few beauty gurus do this video and I thought it'd be a lot of fun and boy did I find it hard. Um, not hard in the way that I feel like I don't have enough products to show. Quite the opposite actually. I have too many products to show. It. I really did not think I would have four or more of any one kind of product. It's It's insane. Like I... I don't know how long this video is going to be. Apologies if it's going to be long. You might want to get some popcorn or make yourself a cup of tea or something because we're probably in for a, a long movie. I thought it would be easier if I start off with um, nail products, eye products, and then lip products. I don't have four or more of any face products, which is good, so at least that's out of the ballpark. Right, so I'm just going to start with nail polish. Uh, there's, only, there's actually only one brand that I have uh, four or more of, and that is China Glaze. So I'm just going to read out the colours I've got. They're all pink, so um, this one is called Beauty Within. It's you Drive Me Coconuts. I actually really love this colour. I think everyone should have it. Heat Index. Hang Ten Toes. These are all just going to look the same on camera. Pink Voltage, which is what I have on my nails today actually with a clear top coat. Something Sweet, which is a pale pink for once. <laughs> then Shocking Pink. So I'm going to move on to eyes now. The Maybelline Color Tattoos, I have seven of these actually. I have Barely Beige, which I believe was part of a limited edition collection. I believe this collection is still available on All Cosmetics Wholesale, so if you did miss out on it, um, I recommend jumping on that site and grabbing it if you're interested. Too Cool, which is just the frosty white one, part of the main collection. Bad to the Bronze, which I use all the time. It's actually Maybelline's most popular colour tattoo. Barely Branded, which is very similar to Barely Beige uh, of the limited edition collection. Uh, but I love champagne-y, sparkly eyeshadow bases, so that's why I got both. Inked in Pink, which is a frosty, pale, rosy pink colour. Pomegranate Punk, which as the name suggests is a pomegranate colour. It's like a plummy, burgundy type of colour. It is absolutely beautiful. And then I've got Rich Mahogany. Uh, which I believe is from the same collection as Barely Beige. So that's all my Maybelline tattoos. I have exactly four of the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. I have Infinite Sky, which is this pale blue colour. Uh, bronze Taupe, which is a gorgeous bronze colour. It is just stunning. Um, Ice Latte, which a lot of people have said is a dupe for Steeler Kitten. And the one that everybody talks about, Amber Rush. I thought I'd just talk about the Inglot eyeshadows I have. I can't remember the numbers of them, but I'll pop, I'll pop them down in the description box below. I actually have um, eight Inglot eyeshadows in two palettes. I've got a five palette and then a three palette for traveling. These are just filled with colors that I chose myself. Uh, I've got a couple of shimmery colors along here and then these three are matte. Next um, our MAC eyeshadows. I have a massive MAC eyeshadow collection. I filled out a 15 uh, pan palette here and now I have a little duo with uh, Nocturnal and Beauty Mark and I have a 12 eyeshadow palette with another 12 MAC eyeshadow so What's that? Um, 27, 28, so that's 29 eyeshadows I have. Uh, this palette I got from eBay, but I have found very similar ones on All Cosmetics Wholesale for like seven bucks or something. Now speaking of Urban Decay, I was going through my palettes and I was like, oh, surely I don't have four Urban Decay palettes. I have Naked Original, Naked 2, and now Naked 3 uh, and Naked Basics. Naked 3 and Naked Basics I actually got from eBay um, recently. Uh, <laughs> so I have the all, that's that's pretty sad really, like I have way too many eyeshadow palettes. The Urban Decay 15, um, 15th year anniversary palette which, which features 15 eyeshadows. I got that from eBay as well. Um, and finally I have another one of these palettes the 12 slot palettes and I have I've got nine at the moment Urban Decay eyeshadow singles um, I've got three more in my head that I want to want to buy so I can fill the palette because I'm sort of OCD about that kind of thing um, and yeah so I just depotted these and pop them in here I'll write a list down below about what eyeshadows I have here okay on to lip products you ready guys this is this is going to take a while. Now I have five of the Maybelline Baby Lips. I have Pink Punch, 
are the Doctor Rescue in Pink Me Up, Pink Shock, Strike a Rose and Cherry Me. Phase one completed. I'm just, my, look, I'm getting my sleeves all rolled up. I'm going to be covered in swatches by the end of this. I have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, NYX Slim Lip Pencils or whatever these are called, but yeah, the Slim Lip Pencils. I'll just swatch them all. Uh, might as well. I'll just go ahead and the things I, get, I do for you guys, honestly. <laughs> so this one is Bloom. Oh, I swatch these just on my hand, I guess. It's really nice hot pink colour. Next, Dolly Pink. I actually, I think I might have two of these, so that's probably why I have six. Yeah, I do. So I'm not going to swatch that one again. So I guess technically I have five. Uh, and this is Hot Pink. So it's like Dolly Pink's warmer cousin. Rose, which is that one there. Really nice everyday uh, pink colour. Finally, Plum, which is gorgeous. I like pairing it with the Revlon Lip Butter in Red Velvet. It just looks really gorgeous. Next are the NYX, I guess I'll just stick by brand, I guess. Um, next are the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I technically have eight because I have two backups of Addis Ababa, but I'll just swatch six. <laughs> is San Paolo, just that one there. And this one is Addis Ababa, just that one. And then Ibiza, which is one of the new ones just there. Antwerp which is the one that everybody loves. It's a nice corally pink colour. Milan which is a beautiful pink. It's one of my favourites. Just that one there. And then finally Istanbul another one of my favourites. This is a beautiful everyday almost a nudie pink colour. There we go. Uh, next are the NYX Butter Lipsticks. So I'm just grabbing them in any order. Um, so the first one is Hunk which is one of the most popular colours. It's a beautiful purple, very wearable purple colour actually. This one is Sweet Tart, which is kind of another bold colour actually. It doesn't really look bold there, but on the lips, or at least on my lips, it stands out quite a lot. Cotton Candy, you can barely see that on my skin. It's a nice nudie pink colour. Now I have this one here, it's fun size. I'll be very careful swatching it because it actually broke. I've tried fixing it. I watched Michelle Farn's video on how to fix broken lipsticks, but I just can't do it. I've tried twice and I'm too, too scared to try again. So I'm just trying to use it up. Just, it's broken in the tube and everything. I'm just trying to, I just very gingerly apply it every time I wear it. Um, so yeah, that one's fun size. It's a very peachy kind of nude, but it's very nice. Very flattering on my skin tone actually. And this one's taffy. It's like a bubblegum pink color. Oops, I'm not really swatching these very well. There it is there. Is lollies. This is a very peachy, peachy colour. Am I showing that right? Yeah, that's it. That's lollies. <laughs> so this one is Candy Buttons, which looks like that. It's kind of similar to, um, what was that last one I swatched? Lollies. Yeah, it looks kind of similar to lollies, actually. And then this one is Fizzies, which is a nice um, corally colour. And then this one is Razzle, which is a beautiful fuchsia colour there. Little Susie which is a really hot pink, pinky red colour. Okay, so I'm almost finished with NYX products. I have four of the NYX lip glosses. Uh, which are those ones? Um, one of them's clear, so obviously I'm not gonna swatch that. I have Salsa Beige and Dolly Pink. That one's Dolly Pink, it's absolutely beautiful. Beige, which is like a cult favourite. It's just like the perfect uh, dusty pink colour. And then finally salsa. You can wear it on top of a lipstick or it's it's a good colour if you if you have a slightly more dramatic eye and you, and you have no idea what to pair it with I often gravitate towards salsa. Now next are the Revlon lip butters. Now in total I have I have bought in my collection at one stage I did have, I did have 13 I've used up two of them so I have 11 right now. So this one is strawberry shortcake really nice uh, just sort of bubblegum pink colour. Um, and then this one is Sorbet, which was part of the spring collection last year, I believe. And Wild Watermelon, which was part of it as well. It's very wearable red. Juicy Papaya. So that one's there. This one is Sweet Tart. I absolutely love this colour. It is a gorgeous bright pink. Uh, this one's Lollipop. It's like a... 
how to describe this? I guess like a really bright fuchsia color. And then this one is Cherry Tart, which is actually surprisingly wearable considering how scary it looks in the tube. <laughs> and then this one is Raspberry Pi. I bought this after seeing um, a couple of videos where Tiny Bird's wearing it. And she likes to shear it out so you don't get such a bold color. And it looks really nice when it's sheared out. This one is Cupcake. Let's watch that there. It's like a, it's really nice blue base pink. This one is red velvet and it's a really rich deep burgundy color like plummy color. This last one is berry smoothie. I guess I'll swatch it there. And for me it's a very my lips but better color like my lips. It's like the same hue as my lips but it's a bit darker if that makes sense. I hope I'm using the correct terminology. Next I have four Nutrimedics lipsticks. Now Nutrimedics if you live in a country where it's not available it's it's very similar to Avon and my mum was a member and she would like order things for her friends and things like that. Um, so this first one is sugary. Uh, it's like a fuchsia pink with sparkles in it. Now I'll admit I don't use these very often but that's because the the one bad thing about Nutrimedics, uh, well this probably applies to all their products, not just their lipsticks, but the pictures in the magazines are not accurate at all. Like the pictures in the catalogs are completely different to what you get um, in the flesh. For example, this one, Rosy, like that looks like a very brown based pink, like it's got a really, really strong brown undertone. And whereas in the, in the catalog, it looked like a very pale pinky nude color. It is, it, it does look okay on the lips, but I definitely don't reach for it very often. And then this one is Kimono. I mainly bought it because of the name. Like, look at that. That is a gorgeous red. Oh, I sh really should wear this. I'm a little bit scared when it comes to wearing reds, but that is just beautiful. This one is Pink Mist. Now, this one has seen a lot of love. I'm surprised I haven't used it all up. It's just like a frosty. This was, a, I went through a stage where I was into frosty lipsticks. I'm not so much into them anymore, but this one... It's very flattering. It's just a pinky nude color. So that's it for my Nutrimedics lipsticks. Uh, next, I have four of the designer brands lip glosses. Now these are pretty underrated in my opinion. However, I definitely prefer the opaque formula as opposed to the regular formula, which is very sheer, not very pigmented. And I don't know, I just prefer lip glosses that have more color payoff because all of these lip glosses you can wear by themselves or over lipsticks it really doesn't matter like this one is baby pink um, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on my skin I'm running out of room to swatch but yeah that one is sorry you can sort of see the ghosts of the swatches there but I just so that one's baby pink so you can see that even that pale color shows up on the skin which is amazing not a lot of pale baby pink colored lipsticks um, show up on the skin that well so I'm very impressed by that. Now these last three I'm sorry but they were part of a limited edition collection uh, which is now finished. I think designer brands are absolutely mad for making these colors limited edition because because all these three lip glosses are the opaque formula and they do not release enough opaque formula colors in my opinion. So this one is gold dust and as you can see it's a uh, gold color it does show up a lot better on the lips this one is pink serenity this is just like a um, everyday pink kind of color oh by the way they smell amazing <laughs> uh, and then finally hint of heaven which is a coral color and yeah it's really nice i love that one too i have exactly four of the occ lip tars one january rising so that's what january rising looked like i just did a little dot i guess i could sheer it out a bit and then this one is anime. It's like a cult favorite or maybe not a cult favorite, but it, it's definitely one of the more popular um, OCC colors. So that's anime. Next, uh, what's this one? Next is pageant, which is a lighter pink. These colors just look the same. They really do. I thought they were going to be so different, but those three, so pageant's the one down the bottom. This one is in Divine. I bought this after seeing Samantha from uh, Battle Lash use it because it looked amazing and I was like well if this because it's a peachy color and I was like well if it doesn't suit me I can just mix it with one of the other 
lip tiles because that's the great thing about the OCC lip tiles that's divine there you can mix them together to get the color you want you can basically create any color under the Sun with OCC lip tiles right so I just went into the bathroom and I took off all the last few swatches I did this is gonna be like the second or third time I've rinsed off my swatches from this video so far my skin is just pink and red and I just feel like if I swatch um, if I try to swatch my MAC lipsticks, my MAC lipstick collection is the next and final uh, four or more I was going to talk about. Um, but I think I'll do a separate video where I talk about my MAC lipstick collection. I think maybe I'll just, because um, I did select my four favorite colors. Uh, so I thought I'd just go ahead, maybe I'll just swatch my four favorite colors and I'll eventually do a MAC lipstick collection. So my four favorite MAC lipstick colors that I have at the moment are Viva Glam Nikki because I have quite a few MAC lipsticks, that's Viva Glam Nikki. Next one may not, may not be a surprise to some of you is of course MAC Angel. I use this all the time. It's just gorgeous, just a beautiful everyday pink color. Chatterbox, which is surprise, surprise, another pink. It's like a nice, um, almost a Barbie, like a warm Barbie pink, I suppose is the best way I can think of to describe that color. Finally, Show Orchid. Uh, this, uh, it's, it's just a beautiful fuchsia pink with almost like iridescent, um, like purple teeny tiny glitters almost yet this isn't a frost it's not a metallic lipstick which is really odd I have no idea how they did it but it's just amazing because it's an amplified cream formula it actually has almost like an iridescent shine to it like when, when you reflect it against the light you know it sort of goes from you know a, a fuchsia to almost like a slightly purple tone pink it's it's just amazing so this was my four or more tag video um it's just been crazy this video was very crazy to film I, like i filled out my card i don't know how long this video is going to be but it's probably going to be very long so if you managed to stick through this entire video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys all enjoyed this video and i'll be talking to you all again really soon bye